Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a perfectly symmetrical shape in Inkscape. So the first thing I'm gonna do um, is go up into my rulers here and um, drag out a guide. So I'm going to click in my ruler and pull down and there's a guide. Next, I'm gonna grab the Bezier cool, uh, curve tool and I'm gonna hover over my guide here and click. Then I'm gonna move the mouse click and click up on the guide again. Hit enter. So now I have a V shape and I know that these two nodes are aligned along this horizontal axis, but I want this node to be aligned along the center axis of these other two nodes. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull out a guide from the left side. So click and drag. And then I'm gonna with, uh, grab my selector tool, go over here and make sure that this um, snap to center is checked. And then I'm going to hold down the control key while I drag to keep this shape um, locked on the vertical axis here. And then we're just gonna wait for the snap, snap object to midpoint. There we go. And now I just need to move this node over to the guide. So uh, with my Edit Pass by Node Selector. I'm gonna go over here and click this Snap tool, Snap Cusp Nodes, including Rectangular Corners. Highlight that, zoom in here. I'm gonna grab this node, again, while uh, dragging while holding down Control, and then it'll snap right to the guide. I'll let go. So now I have this uh, perfectly symmetrical V shape. I'm going to control click on this node to make it a smooth node. And then I can adjust these handles. Um, dragging while holding control will keep it straight, keep them straight. Adjust this handle here. Now I want to make sure these handles are symmetric, so I'm my last step here is to go up and hit this option, make selected node symmetric. Click, that scoots that over a little. So now if I wanted to continue on this path, continue making this shape, all I need to do is select my pen tool, my Bezier curve tool, and go up and continue the path. If your um, little node turns red, that means you're continuing to draw on this path. So I'm going to click Control click for a straight line. I'm going to click and drag for a curved line. Then I'm gonna let go and hit enter. Um, the reason why I hit enter was because I want the rest of this um, node here to be a corner point. So I have a handle on one side that creates this smooth curve. The other side I want to go straight down. So I'm just gonna continue the path with my pen tool by clicking right on the node, just to click and then I'm going to shift, uh, I'm sorry, control click for a straight line, control click for another straight line to the guide, and hit enter. So now I have this um, half of a shirt shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it's selected, I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting control D, and then I'm gonna flip it under object, flip horizontal. Now I can drag this new shape out while holding the control key, keeps it straight. And then I'm gonna delete these two nodes because I don't need them, they already exist. So I'm going to click, shift click, delete. Now, because I have this snap option on, this node should snap to this node, and this node should snap to this node. So grab my selector tool, control drag until I get the snap. There it is. Okay. And then the last step is to join these two shapes. So this one is selected. I'm going to shift click to select this side. 
Now I'm going to jo um, zoom in to where we need to join the paths. Grab my node selector, draw a rectangle around these two nodes, and go up here to join selected nodes. Click OK. Now these are, this is one single path here. It's no longer two paths. And then I can go down and do the same thing down here. Join selected nodes, and now this is one path as well. And if you want to get rid of your guides, just grab the selector tool, click on them, delete, click on them, delete, and there's your perfectly symmetrical shape. We can add a fill to it. Um, oops, let's get rid of this guide. And there you have it.